Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get these two dropdowns to work properly using HTMX. So first, let me show you. If I select the US, I have cities in the US. If I select Mexico, I have cities in Mexico. And the way I'm going to get this to work is I'm going to use a library called HTMX to get everything to work on the client side. If you're not familiar with HTMX, I have other videos on it. I'll put a link in the description below, but it's a really useful library to Kind of do a lot of things that you would do in JavaScript without using any JavaScript. So you basically follow patterns that you're kind of used to in HTML and HTMX kind of extends those uh, so you can do things like I have in this example. I think this example is pretty straightforward, but if you need more help with this or anything else, I do have a coaching program. So if you're interested in getting help from me one-on-one, -on -one, just go to prettyprinted.com slash coaching or you can click on the link in the description below to learn more about how you can talk to me and I can help you solve any problem that you have in your app, whether it's HTMX, Flask, or anything else. So with that said, let's get started with this example. We're gonna be using Flask and Flask WT Forms to create this example here. Okay, so to begin, let me show you what I have. I have a Flask app set up. I have this Dunder init where I just register my Blueprint that I'll show you in a second, and knit my database. I'm putting some data into the database. So I have these two models here, country and city. I have three countries and three cities for each country. So I'm just putting this in the database here, the US, Canada, and Mexico. In forms.py, I have nothing. And routes.py, I have this index route that returns the index template. And inside the template, I don't have anything in particular yet, just a blank page. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the form set up to display the country dropdown. So to do that, I'll go over to forms.py and I will create a new form. So I'll call this location form. And this will take in Flask form. So Flask form comes from Flask WTF. So from Flask underscore WTF import Flask form. And I need to install it. So pip install flask WTF. And I also want to install WT Forms SQL Alchemy, which will kind of combine SQL Alchemy and WT Forms to do something useful. In this case, uh, the query select field is what I want. So from WT Forms underscore SQL Alchemy dot fields, I want to import query select field and I spelled fields incorrectly here. So just like that. Okay, so I want to create the country field and I can do that with a query select field. I'll call this country. And then it's going to have a query factory. You can either pass a function or a lambda, which is just an anonymous function. And then I'll do country query all and I'll need to import country. So from dot models import country. And I want to say allow blank equals true. So it can start off as blank. And then I need get label equals name because inside of my models, uh, the thing I want to display here is name. So I think this is it for the form. So now I'll go to the route and I'll import that form. So from dot forms uh, import location form. And this should be forms. What I want to do is I want to instantiate this form. So form equals location form, and I'll pass the form to the template. So form equals form. Inside of the template, I will create the form tags. So form method uh, post, and then I'll put the CSRF token. So form.csrf underscore token. And finally, I'll put the country field. So form.country. Okay, so if you're not familiar with any of this, just check out my videos on WT Forms. I just quickly went through that because I'm getting to the part where I show you how to do the thing that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So submit here, and then if I run this, I have invalid syntax, and let's see. In Forms, uh, this should be query factory for one. And I s didn't spell lambda correctly. Okay, so let's try this again. Okay, so just some typos. Run this, I need a secret key. So let's just put a secret key in the configuration. So app config secret key. This is a secret. Okay, so let's try this again. 
and now we see the drop down. So this drop down has the US, Canada, and Mexico. So what I want to do is I want to create a second drop down that will only display cities from the country that I have selected here. So first, let me put the code for the other part of the form so we can put city here. So city is going to also be a query select field. And we'll call this city. We'll put get label is equal to name and allow blank is equal to true. And note that I'm not putting the query factory here because I need to set this up differently. So now let's go over to the routes. And in here, what I want to do is I want to set the query on the city. So form.city query. And as an example, I can do city.query.all. And let me show you what that looks like. So let me import city from models. And then I need to put it in the template. So form.city. And now we see all the cities here. And this doesn't work in the way that I want it to work, but I just wanted to show you that. So what I want for now is I want that to be an empty list. So I'll go back to routes and instead of city.query.all, I'll just put city.query uh, filter none and then dot all. So this will return nothing. So I need a query for the list, but we see here now I get no cities and I still have the countries. So here's where HTMX comes into play. So I'll go back over to the template. And the first thing I need to do is I need to import the script for HTMX. So I'll just copy and paste it in here. You can get this from the HTMX website. And then I need to add some things on the country. So what I want to do in HTMX is I want to say whenever something changes on country, I want it to perform a request. And then I want it to take the results of that request and put it somewhere else. So to do that, I can call country. So instead of just doing form.country, I can like call form.country. And I need to pass some arguments. And the reason why I want to pass some arguments is because I want to add some attributes on the select. So first, let me show you what the select looks like. I can go to view page source here. And we see on select, we have the ID and the name attributes already. And I want to add some more for HTMX. So normally if I wanted to add something, I can say like uh, something equals value. And if I go back here, refresh, and then look at this, we see something equals value. So that's the general idea in WT forms, just pass key value pairs like this to the call and it will put the mass attributes on the HTML element. Well, because HTMX uses dashes, this isn't valid. So for example, HX get, this isn't valid because you can't have a keyword argument have the dash like this. So what you can do instead is you can pass a dictionary and then have that dictionary interpret it as keyword arguments. So here you pass a double star and then that will take everything in this dictionary and pass it as uh, arguments to countries, so in key value pairs. So now I can define my string, hx git. And for hx git, I want to call it endpoint, let's call this git cities. And then I also need a hx target. And then I'm going to be targeting the city select because here, if I look, I have the city select with id city, so I use the hash. And that's where I'm targeting. So I'm basically going to take the results of Git cities and inject them into the city select whenever the country changes. And this is actually all the HTMX that I need. So like I said, if you haven't used HTMX before, check out my other videos on it. But it, it can be this simple for a lot of things when you're using HTMX. And as you see, there's no JavaScript involved. Okay, so now I need to define this Git cities routes. So I'll go to routes.py. And here I'll say main routes slash get cities. Call this get cities as well. I need to import requests. So it's going to take the the name of the original select, so country, and it's going to pass the value that it gets from the country as country when it 
pass it as to city. So what I mean by that is I can say country ID equals, and then it will be requests dot args dot get country. And this will be type int. So the country ID from the country that's selected here will be passed to this route get cities as a query string argument. So with the, the question mark after it. So once I have the country ID, then I can get the list of cities with that country. So cities equals city dot query filter by, and then we have country ID equals the country ID I have here and all, right? So I need to, no, I already have city here. And then I want to return a template. So return render template. And I'll call this city options.html. And I'll have cities equals cities like that. Okay, so city options is a template that I need to create. So city underscore options.html. So then I want to loop over the cities that I have. So for city in cities. So in for here, and I'm just going to create options. So option, and then we have value. And the value is going to be the city ID. So city.id. And then city.name. So this will just return a list of options and it's going to inject these options into the select for city. So let's see if that works. I'll select Canada and we see Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver. Select Mexico, we see three cities and select the US, we also see three cities. So now the final thing is just submitting this. The key to having this be valid. So if I do if form dot validate on submit. For this to be valid, the city that I select has to be in this query here. So what I can do is I can check to see if the country data has been populated. So if form.country.data, I can say form.city.query equals city query filter by uh, country ID equals form.country.data.id. And then I can get all the cities from that country. And then if the country data isn't there, then it will just be the empty one like before. And then what I can do is I can simply print out the country. So form country data dot name, because this is objects using the query select field and then form city data name. So let's give it a shot. I will select Canada and then Montreal hit submit method, not allowed. That's pretty easy to fix. So methods, Git and post. So let's try that again. Canada, Montreal, submit. And then we see Canada and Montreal here. So as you can see, it didn't take too much to get this working with HTMX. Really, most of the video is spent setting up the example, whereas the actual HTMX part was just defining this one small endpoint, defining the city options here, which was a small template file. And then finally, inside of here, uh, passing get cities and hash city uh, to country as a call. And this is the key thing here, just using the two stars here with a dictionary. So these get added as attributes. And actually, let me just show you that so you can see it. We see HX target, HX get, and ID and name are still there. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about anything I've done here, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.